because this is always for me is this, this white, this white, this white. What's the best one? And I'm about to tell you exactly, more specifically, which one you should choose. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a vlog, a little bit of a pull workout and a little bit of a discussion on how wide you should grip the bar when you're doing your pull up slash weighted pull up. So hopefully this video helps a couple of you guys out where you have any questions on how to do pull ups. But for now let's jump right into the video. So basically now I pretty much had a full day of behind the laptop work, feel pretty tired of it and right now it is time to do my pull workout which is going to be outside training for one arm pull ups and doing some weighted pull ups as well. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly change my clothes, go into some uh, decent gym attire so I can do my pull-up workouts. After that, come back, have some dinner, have some food, and then I'm going to talk with you guys a little bit about the whole topic of the video, which once again is going to be how wide you should grip your bar when you are doing pull-ups and weird pull-ups. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys my workout real quick. Again, we're on pull-up and weird pull-up focus. And after that, we're going to be talking about the main topic of this video. But for now, I'm going to go and train, and I'll see you guys right when I come back home. Enjoy the workouts. Alright guys, that is training done. Now let's talk about the main topic of this video, which is hand placement on doing your pull-up. So when you look for pull-up videos on YouTube, what you will find most of the times is people saying you to go a little bit wider than shoulder width. However, a bit wider than shoulder width, there's kind of like a massive gray area because this is shoulder width for me, is this, this wide, this wide, this wide. What's the best one? And I'm about to tell you exactly, more specifically, which one you should choose. The closer you will go to shoulder width, what you will find is that your elbows will tuck in much more and basically you will be much much stronger when doing your normal pull-up so basically if your goal is to do very very strong pull-ups or weighted pull-ups going closer towards shoulder width is the best bet for you the wider you go on the pull-up bar the easier it's going to be to actually activate all your back muscles especially your lats uh, going wider also allows you to do a lot more retraction of the scapula so if it comes to back engagement going a bit wider is obviously what is going to benefit you long term again as with a lot of questions if it comes to training it all depends on what you personally want to do. If you want to build up towards a very, 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 very strong weighted pull-ups, going closer is going to be beneficial. If you want to uh, increase your back engagement, going a bit wider is going to be beneficial for you. So once again, depends on your goals. However, I would like to add one thing to that whole explanation. If you actually have been watching all my videos for the last couple of months now, you would actually find that a couple of months ago, I was doing my pull-ups and especially my weighted pull-ups with, with a much closer grip than I'm doing them today. The reason for that being is because I find when doing a very, very close grip, I have quite a lot of uh, issues with my biceps, my bicep tendon and my shoulder. Because once again, the more tucked you're going to be, the less back engagement you will have, the more your biceps is going to do all the work. And yes, you will feel much stronger with a closer grip, but I personally find that it really, really irritates my bicep tendon and it kind of fucked my shoulder up, which led to me almost having a shoulder injury if you've been watching my videos a couple of months back. So, and what I would like you to take away from this whole video is basically that there is no right or wrong way. And if you want to find what works best for you, the solution is to do a shitload of pull-ups and try different things. Try close grip, try wide grip, see what works for you. Once again, the only way to get better at pull-ups is to do pull-ups. I gave you the baseline here, but in order to figure out yourself what works best for you, you have to find your own thing. And the only way you're going to do that is by doing a shitload of pull-ups. 
Alright guys, that was the whole video for today. If you guys found uh, it useful, leave a comment down below in the comment section. And if you have any more questions, leave it down below in the comment section as well. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any more video ideas, leave it down below in the comment section. Same thing with any advice to improve my videos. But for now, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. And as always, I upload on a Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So I'll see you guys three times a week with videos. You're welcome. See you guys in the next video. Latest.